Hi guys, it's me, your biology facilitator, Dr. Seema Sharma, and you are watching my YouTube channel, BioHub. Dear friends, my this video includes complete procedural detail to carry out an activity to demonstrate that chlorophyll is one of the necessary conditions for photosynthesis. To perform this activity, you need a special leaf, a variegated leaf. So, what is a variegated leaf? In this activity, you are not just going to get the answer of this question, what is a variegated leaf, but you will also get to know why is a variegated leaf preferred in this activity, which solution is used for the detection of starch, why is iodine called a universal indicator of starch, and what is the purpose of using ethanol in this experiment. So, if you want to know the answer of all these questions, then stay connected and watch this video till the last. Before switching over to the activity, let's take up the first question. What is a variegated leaf? A variegated leaf contains more than one type of color pigments. It may have green chlorophyll containing parts and non-green other pigment containing parts. Like this one is a variegated leaf. It has green and non-green part. And few of the plants where you must have come across such kind of leaves are coleus, croton and money plant. Now let's know why is a variegated leaf used to prove that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. This is done to kill two birds with one stone. How? You know viewers that variegated leaf has green and non-green parts. We also know that green colored part of the leaf contains chlorophyll and non-green color part of the leaf has some other pigments. So when we take up a variegated leaf for this activity and subject it to iodine test, we get this type of result. The green colored part of the leaf, it turns blue black with iodine and it shows the presence of starch. And starch is the secondary product of photosynthesis and it can only be produced by chlorophyll. That's why variegated leaf is used in this activity. Now let's switch over to the activity and know about the requirements. Requirements are variegated leaf, it can be of money plant, iodine solution, ethanol, beaker with the water, petri dish, Bunsen burner, lighter, test tube with holder, tripod stand, wire gauge, forceps, etc. Coming to the steps, first pluck one leaf from any variegated plant that has been exposed to sunlight for a few hours. In this activity, we have taken variegated leaf of money plant. Step two, take a pick of this variegated leaf or draw its outline on a sheet of paper. Indicate or mark the green and non-green areas on the drawing or in the picture as shown here. Then we have to subject this variegated leaf for iodine test. That is keeping the leaf in the boiling water for five minutes. Then putting this leaf in the test tube containing ethanol. Then heating this test tube on a butter bath for 7 to 8 minutes. Boiling of leaf in ethanol serves two functions. First, it helps to remove chlorophyll pigment from the leaf. And second, it helps to observe the result of iodine test clearly. Taking out and rinsing off that leaf very gently with water and spread it very gently on the petri dish. Lastly, we have to pour iodine over it and we have to note the reaction that is change in color. Iodine is a universal indicator of starch. In whatever material starch is present, if we are pouring iodine on that, immediately it will turn blue-black. Now coming to observation, we have to compare the part stain black-blue with the drawing or the picture which we have already taken or drawn. Which part of the leaf turned blue-black? You can easily make out green colored portion of the variegated leaf. It has turned blue-black in color. On the other hand, why do the yellowish portion of the leaf not show the presence of starch? Reason is that part is non-chlorophyll containing part or the chlorophyll is almost absent. From these two observations, we can clearly conclude that no change in color with iodine solution in Yellow parts of this money plant leaf shows absence of chlorophyll and reaction of starch with iodine solution in green parts of the leaf confirms 
that presence of chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. So with the help of this activity, you can prove that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. Now let's take up the precautions. Precaution number one, freshly plucked variegated leaves should be taken for this activity. Second, the glassware should be cleaned and wiped before and after the use. Third, boiling of leaf in ethanol should be done in the water bath and that too very carefully because ethanol is inflammable. Fourth and last but equally important precaution is wear a lab coat while performing this experiment. So with this we are through with this activity but stay tuned to Biohub for more such activity based videos. With this I am going to sign up. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Biohub. Bye bye.